Right, we're going to be looking at um, uh, art and picture racking. Here's a typical uh, example of how the art collections are stored. They are stacked one against the other uh, against typically a wall. The disadvantage of it, which is perhaps clear, is that if you wanted to get to this particular piece of artwork or a back piece of artwork, the only way you can get to it is actually is to be able to lift these forward and try then to get this piece of artwork away. Not always easy and not really very effective. What the challenge here was in this art gallery was to be able to store all of the collection, but to be able to store it safely and efficiently so that we could identify the collection that was required, retrieve it, and be able to show it. Here's an example that we put together as a solution to that particular challenge. Pull out art racking, high density storage racking. A handle is placed at the front of each pull out panel. By bringing it forward, it allows the collection to be seen but also stored very, very efficiently and safely. They glide on the steel tracks. If, for example, you wanted to get to this particular collection, you would just pull that forward, and the pull-out racks extend to their full width to give you access to all of the artwork collection that's stored on that panel. They can be easily and quickly referred to. All of that panel space can be used to store different sizes of pictures to create a montage. When that collection is viewed and wants to be returned, a very simple and easy push enables that to be returned back into the storage facility. The distance between the panels is decided by the thickness of the frames of the artwork that's to be stored. Here, the typical gap between the pull-out racks has been set at 200 millimeters. But this could be equally set wider if the frames around the artwork were more ornate and, and bigger. So these can be set at any pitch to suit. These can be made at any height. Depending on the ceiling clearance, these panels can be manufactured to make the best use of the height that's available. The length of the art rack, again, is determined by the space that's available. We manufacture these in panels. They are bolted together to create the, the length of the rack that's required. And if we are looking at higher, they would be bolted one on top of the other to create the full height. Usually, the panel width is half of the space that is available overall, so that when the system is closed, it takes up half of the available space. The panels run on tracks set, sat on the floor. These tracks individually are levelled and the space in between is filled with a non-slip melamine floor infill panel so that you create a flush and safe walkway within the system. At the front of the system we have an aluminium ramp. This ramp provides a gentle rise from the carpet finish up into where the art racking is stored. It means trolleys or steps or people can walk through into the system without any danger of tripping over and with ease. Each track is set for each pull-out art rack. Above, you'll see here, guide rails. These ensure that when the rack is pulled out, it runs smooth and evenly along the path that it was intended. All of the weight is transmitted down onto the tracks in the floor. The guidance above simply ensures that the pull-out rack comes out straight and true. The top rail is fixed to the ceiling or 
it is sometimes mounted onto its own supported steelwork so that the ceiling, if it was much higher than the intended system, is then held on a overhead steelwork. In this instance, the overhead guide tracks were fixed straight to the ceiling, which is quite common. So here we have the end result. Pull out art racks and handles that you can use to bring access easily available.